What's going on guys? Welcome back to Cobble Cane and we have finished opening our case and unfortunately the word that's out in everybody's mouth at the moment is that darn Pikachu. Unfortunately we didn't open in our case which means we are now on the hunt for a Pikachu as I am also on the hunt for the Greninja from Twilight Masquerade. So at the moment here in Australia at the very least Surging Sparks is kind of selling out or sold out everywhere to the point if you do find Surging Sparks on the shelves It's kind of like an evolving skies type Hype or rush at this point in time because everyone wants to pull that And I don't know what it's like for your part of the world But here I've been seeing Pikachu selling raw for nine hundred to a thousand dollars at this point Obviously, there's a bit of price manipulation and also a lot of overhype without realizing there's going to be a restock coming at some point. So if it comes down to about 300 bucks again, once the restock comes out, I'm probably just going to bite the bullet and say, I'm just going to buy it straight out. But that being said, getting lucky and finding product here and there all over the place is sort of my goal right now because I want to pull it myself. So what we've got today is we've got... 10 loose booster packets that I've picked up from places like EB Games and JB Hi-Fi and all that kind of stuff. And then we've got 10 hanging blister packs, which I believe came from Target and all that kind of stuff. So hopefully going forward into this, we do manage to hit something or even because we're still missing quite a few alt arts. Um, so hopefully we hit in a few of those. So let's get straight into this. All right, so you're gonna probably notice that the, the setup is a little bit different now for the actual uh, cracking stage. Took a little bit of advice from everybody about camera angles and all that kind of stuff. And then, you know what, I agree. I was a little bit pedantic before, so I didn't really know what I was doing. So what we're gonna start with first is these cardboard blisters. Now, there should be 10. I'm pretty sure I counted 10 into this. Um, so in Australia, it's funny, the way these hanging blisters kind of come into stock is our targets here in Australia tend to get them first. Now, me being a Sydney cider, they don't actually appear in Sydney-based targets first. To which also, if you're an Australian Sydney cider, targets are being taken over by Kmart, so that's kind of a sad end to an error. But it's always the Queensland... Um, targets that get the hanging blisters and all the weird funky stuff first like I think the same thing happened with 151 booster bundles and all that kind of stuff uh, way back when so I saw them online and was like in stock no no way because this was like on release day I'm like oh, I'll just buy a few and they actually rocked up so hopefully um, I generally have okay-ish luck when it comes to um blister packs namely from like evolving skies and that kind of stuff but you know and we're just gonna like flick right through here all right so i got nothing there so i just want to put a side note this terrapagos comes as a promo for surging sparks you know the stamp promos that come from game stuff and that kind of stuff and i realized something a bit of a dumb beat. it took me a while somebody is helping me in, out in the america like in the american states I think we've only got 20 packs. I'm just going to like kind of do the hype way. Um, was trying to explain to me that the Quaxley is inside the Terrapagos packet. And I wasn't understanding it at all. Right? I wasn't understanding it one bit. I was like, but I need the Quaxley from Pokemon Center. Like, I really, really, really need it. He's like, yes, it's part of the three seal deal, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, but I need the <laughs> It's been a long week. It's been a long week, and then I was like, once I finally, like, had the spare time to finally read what he was writing, I was like, I feel like dumb dumb. I am sorry. <laughs> I feel like dumb dumb. I am sorry for possibly frustrating the absolute hell out of you. Um, but yeah, luckily for me, obviously, because I'm a master setter and try to get all the different types of variants, unless it's like a variant where it's um not meant to be for public consum like consumption. So like, you know, like staff member cards and that kind of stuff, or promos and that kind of stuff. Um, I generally try to get all the variants that the general public can all get. We've got a slacking for our first hit. I think we're three packs in? Let me see. Three, two, two yeah, I think that's that, or four packs in. I mean, I can just easily count this. Yeah, four packs in. Four packs in, slacking. 
Um, so yeah, if you are, and I'm not too certain how it happens here in Australia. I'm pretty sure we're going to get the same things as well, but Australia is a bit weird in that sense for the um, the Surging Sparks promos. Because in the in the States, I think GameStop has Sprigatito and Fue Coco, and then Best Buy has Fue Coco and something, and uh, it's weird, it's strange. Oh, we're going to Enriching Energy, one Legacy. Now, the, the A-Spec packs usually have another hit in them. Not this time. So let's just chuck this bad boy into a sleeve. But then... Over here, in, oh yeah, so you guys in America don't get Terrapur Ghost in GameStop and all that stuff, I don't think. You can only get the Terrapur Ghost Quaxley packet up from the Pokemon Center, but in Australia, our JP Hi-Fi is going to give us Terrapur Ghost, and I don't think, if I read the thing on Poke Beach correctly, the one, the, the, the Terrapur Ghost that releases here in JB doesn't have the Quaxley in it. And, yeah, I don't, I don't understand. It's, it's, it's weird. I, I don't know. It's, it's, it's sad that it's not so clear. And the other sad part is the reason why I'm like getting it off the guy in America, even though if I can get most of that stuff here, is that usually when it's Australia, <laughs> when it comes to Australia, we always get our promos incredibly late for some reason. They were pretty good in the early stages of um, Scarlet Violet. Um, they were really good. It was like, which, I, when I joined... Joint collecting Pokemon was like, you know, near the time we've lost Origin, Astral Radiance, all that stuff with um with Sword and Shield. But And back then it took like maybe three months, like until like halfway through the next set. There we go, Hydreigon EX. Um it took halfway into the next set for the promos for that set to come out. And when Scarlet Violet came out, the promos only took about two weeks upon release of the set. So I was like, this is cool, this is how it should be, right? Um I think the only one that released like right on time, like almost at the start of the set, was the Serral Edge for Paldean Fates. It was like the Pokemon Day, yeah, the, the 2024 Pokemon Day promo. So that was weird. So they've been doing really well, but then like the past two sets, because I'm trading like EB promos straight for the GameStop and Best Buy promos with someone in America, or Canada, sorry. Um, and... Uh, he's just been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting for me to say, hey, we finally got the Archer Ludons over here in Australia. We can finally do it. Ooh, Bruxish. Nice. Okay, so we got an IR. Not too shabby. Believe that is one that we actually need as well, which is cool. Um, so actually, you know, not too bad so far. I mean, the hits aren't huge. They're not huge, but that's so far four hits out of ten with the hanging packs. Which is when you kind of do the ab like the averaging out with a 36, 36 booster box, and you're getting about twelve something hits. It's not bad. It's not bad. Hanging booster packets like at that point, and then then that's just a gamble. So booster boxes are there for your you know your one hundred percent. I know I'm gonna get this this and this with the like. I would say forty percent chance you're gonna hit into an SIR because of the way they've done the hit spread nowadays. But, like, you know, hanging blister packs are kind of like, you could run into that little batch where it's just like, you've gone into a store, you've like, for Australians, right? You've gone to Coles, you've picked a few things off the shelf, and you've somehow fished your way into, like, a batch where when they package everything, all the hits are in, like, that lot there. And, like, you know, it's happened to me a few times. And, again, like, re-referencing it, um, during the Evolving Skies Coles Express run rush that happened here, and I was that, that was a magical night. But, yeah. All right, so four out of six of those packs had hits. Now we're getting into like the little singular packs that I ran around for like EBs and all that kind of stuff to pick up like the the install promos when you'd spend ten bucks and or twenty bucks and all that kind of stuff. So these ones are straight from booster boxes. So if I got lucky at all, then I possibly maybe picked out some of the hits, or maybe some like that. Not okay. So I picked out one hit so far, so that's good. And there's one packet here I gotta check because there's one packet where I made the guy pick me out a pack. Okay, I don't think it's in this one. I think it's like I've got it like in the other ones. But I made him pick out a pack. I was like, you pick out the packets. He's like, I don't wanna do it. And I'm like, no, do it, do it. Cause I wanted to buy three. He's like, all right, you know what? We'll make it fair. You pick one, the daughter picks one and I'll pick one. I'm like, okay, cool. So the moment he did that, then I just like took his pen and then just drew on the one he wanted, like the one he picked. I'm like. If it happens, 
I'm coming to you and showing you. Because he's, uh... Oh, wow. I'm two from two. <laughs> I'm two from two. Woo! <laughs> this is good, good vibes. Um, <laughs> he's like, yeah, I'm coming to you and you know, because he's got... As soon as I ask him to pick it, he's like... There are people that can pick their own luck, and then there are people that dispense luck. You know, you pick it for yourself, you'll never get, you'll never get anything. You pick it for somewhere else, you've gone and hit them a Moonbryon or something. So, he's, he, he feels like he's one of those guys, which is why he doesn't like picking them, because he feels bad. Wow! I am three for three! How? And I got the Brilliant Blender. I needed a spare. I needed a spare Brilliant Blender, because I have one for the Master Set, and now I have one for my United Wings deck. Oof. This is not too bad. So, this is why, like, at the same time, okay, so now this is the this is the cheaper end of the, like, you know, the gamble that you can take. Rather than buying a full booster box, you go around to places, yeah, sure, the packets might cost a little bit more if you're not buying from, like, an independent or something like that, like an independent store. Um, sure, the packets might be a little bit more expensive, but, so our first non-hit there, but... If you go around the stores, like, you know, I'm just going to use the Australian stores, for example. Like, you go around to, like, EB, JB Hi-Fi, 7-Eleven now. Um, just have random Pokemon booster boxes sitting behind the counter. Like, they're not right out in the open. They're, like, sort of, like, if you go to 7-Eleven behind the glass or the wire, kind of closer to the keyboard that they're at and all that kind of stuff. So just keep in mind, if you go into 7-Eleven, it's, like, 7 bucks a packet, which isn't ter terrible, considering Surging Sparks. Um... You see a full booster box there, you have like the option of like kind of just picking random ones out of them. Or if you want to try and go for like, no, because the way the distribution works, it's like usually one every three packets. You can just go, okay, I'll just take nine in one pack or six, you know, a clump. Or you can kind of do what I do. Like, ah, oh, that's just... So that's exactly what I've done here. I haven't, I haven't done that whole, I'm just going to kind of take a clump of three. I've gone ahead and just picked around like a, you know, <laughs> I've picked around and seen how I've gone. So far, not too terrible. I mean, I've got five packets left for this, um, for the random booster box fishing. So, in theory, if you do, like, you know, get quite a few hits or get, like, hits out of doing, like, kind of like this, then, you know, it kind of, and especially if you hit the, like, the chase cars and all that kind of stuff, it does save you money. But that, in a sense, is its own little, uh, its own little gamble. Um, for people that are like, you know, chasing on a budget, that's probably like the best way to do it, to be perfectly honest. Um, and at the same time, like if you're in an area where you can sit there, you like, you know, buy the packets and you just go sit to the side and open it, you can kind of filter the booster box yourself by that point. I mean, it's it's a little dirty when you think about it, because then if you filter the box and you hit all the stuff, the good stuff out of that box, and you kind of like, you know, for example, how every time I open these booster boxes on every set, I, you know, kind of give the hit rates or the hit spread that you should be getting what to expect. You know, so like, you know, you're going to get like four to five base EXs, two full Rs, three IRs and all that kind of stuff. So if you kind of sit there and you're just opening up random packs to a point where you've filtered through enough and you haven't hit the chase card yet, you either like take the gamble of, I might as well just buy the rest of the box and see if there was an SIR in there or kind of just like count up your options and be like, oh, there's probably not an SIR in here. So I should just like, you know, cut my losses and and walk off with my filtered hits that I've done and haven't had to go on and bought an entire booster box compared to, you know, opening a few packs out of the box rather than opening a full 36 because, you know, 36 packs and you're only going to get about like 14 hits on average, like a good average. So you've overbought by 16... 22 packets, I believe? I think my math is correct. Yeah, I'm not, no, no, that's wrong. Um, no, no, that's right. <laughs> that's right. So yeah, like at that point, like you know, you do, you do that kind of you overbought by like fourteen baggage, twenty two baggage, and you're like, oh well, yeah. Um, oh, I think there's something in this one. I just I just saw something. Um, okay, we got another Hydreigon EX. <laughs> so obviously you can tell that these two booster packets for the Hydreigons, right? Like these two came from different booster boxes because. The funny way that the Pokemon boxes or the booster boxes are stocked and seeded is that you don't get a double hit in there of the same type. So that there can already give you proof that 
I've been fishing these out of like different booster boxes and not just going, oh yeah, I'm just going to open a booster box and like split it for, uh, you know, easy content or anything like that. So there you go. I've got to improve it myself already because there's no, uh, no rigging here. Um, all right. So absolute last pack. Haven't done too terribly. It's, it's been four and 10 and four and 10. So <laughs> kind of funny, kind of funny. Four and 10 and four and 10. We take that. We take that. All right, absolute last packet, and oof, wrong Pikachu, <laughs> wrong Pikachu. But hey, you know, so out of the hanging blisters, the ten hanging blisters, we got the uh, we got the Bruxish IR, which we didn't have yet, which is kind of cool. With a Hydreigon EX, got an Energy Energy, and an, unfortunately a Slacking. <laughs> and then for the ten. Blind pick booster box, um, booster box, blizzard booster packets. We got a Pikachu EX, Hydreigon EX, Brilliant Blender, which I'm pretty happy about, and another Hydreigon EX, and an Archer Ludon EX. So, overall, cannot complain. Um, yeah, I mean, this is what we're reduced to now. We're, we're reduced to going around and picking up random packets that we find. Or random product we find until they start releasing all the the other stuff like the tins and the etbs and stuff but you know main etbs like i'm gonna go open the po pokemon center etb that's all i'm opening for that but yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video take it easy and we're still on that hunt for that pikachu